Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. In the history of military aviation, it's not too uncommon for a pilot to fly for two different air forces in his career. But there is one exceptional case of a fighter pilot who flew for four different air forces. To make matters even more special, he was credited with scoring aerial victories in three of them. Saiful Azam was born in 1941 in East Bengal, which was then a part of British India. This region then became a part of Pakistan, or more precisely, East Pakistan. In 1960, Saiful Azam gained an officer commission with the Pakistani Air Force. He was then sent to the USA for training, and his skills really began to show. When the 1965 war with India began, he was flying F-86 Sabres with number 17 squadron. In this conflict, he flew 12 ground attack missions and he was able to shoot down an Indian NAT fighter. For his actions, he was awarded the third highest Pakistani military award. In November 1966, he was sent as an advisor to the Jordanian Air Force. When the Six-Day War with Israel broke out in June 1967, he volunteered to fly combat for his host nation. The war came at a very unfavorable moment for the Jordanian Air Force. This small service only had one combat aircraft squadron equipped with the British-built Hawker Hunter and less than 20 examples were available. The squadron that operated the Hunter happened to be in the process of conversion to F-104 Starfighter with many of its pilots in the USA on training. Several Starfighters had been delivered to Jordan, but they were evacuated to Turkey just before the conflict began. With only 14 Hunter pilots available to the Jordanian Air Force, the official permission for Saiful Azam and another Pakistani advisor pilot, Sarwar Shad, to fly combat was requested and received. Shad, however, was soon hospitalized and didn't fly. Mafrak Air Base, in which hunters were deployed, was rather well defended by AAA, but few precautionary measures were taken. When Israeli attacks began on the early morning of June the 5th, they caused confusion in Arab militaries, and Jordanian Air Force was no exception. The first Jordanian airstrike against Israel was only launched just before noon, Amman time. Saiful Azam was initially scheduled to fly in it, but he was switched to air defense at the last moment. Azam and his wingman, Iksan Shurdom, took a position high over the city of Ajlun. Shurdom remembers that he took off with 24 rockets and had to shoot them off to get his plane lighter and ready for combat. Ground radar controller could not provide the two hunter pilots with accurate vectors, as there were too many airplanes in the air, but he then reported aircraft approaching Mafrak airbase. Azam and Shurdom then turned back towards their home base and lost contact with the ground radar. This was the time when Israeli Air Force decided to send strike formations against Jordan. Ajlun radar station was their first target and it was knocked out by four Super Mystères of the number 105 squadron. A large number of other Super Mystères, Older Mystères and Uragans were tasked with hitting Mafrak Air Base and the Mon International Airport. At 1.40 pm, all but four Jordanian hunters were on the ground and in the process of refueling and rearming. The Israeli attack was devastating. As Azam and Shurdan were returning to Mafrak, 
They spotted four aircraft which they initially believed to be Iraqi hunters returning from a strike against Israel. When they began to change the combat formation, Azam realized they were in fact Israeli mistairs. Azam managed to maneuver behind the number four in the formation. He opened fire with his cannons and then pulled up to avoid the debris. Israeli pilot Lt. Hanaya Bule never managed to eject as his airplane crashed near Mafraq Air Base. As Saiful Azam pulled up, he spotted two more mistairs heading west at full speed. His wingman spotted one to his right, so Azam ordered him to attack it while he followed the pair. When Azam approached, the Israeli aircraft started to maneuver and thus evaded the gunfire from the hunter. The mistair then straightened, and this was enough for Azam to hit it. It trailed smoke, but Saifo Azam didn't witness it crash as he spotted the Israeli leader turning towards him. Being low on fuel and ammo, he disengaged and headed towards Mafrak. Azam claimed one enemy aircraft destroyed and one damaged. His wingman Shurdom claimed two aircraft shot down. Israeli side claimed two kills against hunters. While there is obviously some overclaiming here, at least one kill for Saiful Azam seems quite certain. As Mafraq Air Base was rendered inoperative by the Israeli attacks, Saiful Azam and other Jordanian hunter pilots landed at Amman International Airport. The surviving aircraft met the same destiny as those in Mafraq. They were destroyed on the ground, either by Israeli mirages or super mistairs. As Jordanian Air Force had no aircraft to fight, the surviving pilots were sent to Iraq, which also operated Hawker Hunters. This was part 1 of our video about Saiful Azam, an extraordinary fighter pilot who flew for 4 different Air Forces and achieved aerial victories for 3 of them. In part 2, you will be able to see how he continued to fight successfully in the 6-day war, and how painfully his career in the Pakistani Air Force ended. If you liked the video, be sure to press the like button, join our Patreon supporters or donate on PayPal to ensure the future of the channel. Thank you and keep watching Showtime 112.